Um, hi. Hello, thank you. Um, now, this segment, I think, could be of help for whomever has still difficulties uh, linking gender equality to sustainability uh, as a team. Uh, if we look at the sustainability fights, uh, in the past we see how there's a strong connection to the woman uh, role in it, and I think you will talk about that. Thank you. Thank you, Alessandro, for your earlier introduction. Thank you, uh, Women20, for uh, giving me and the Arma de Carabinieri the chance to take part in this extraordinary event. Well, um, going back to your question, uh, where the link between women and environmental sustainability come from? Uh, perhaps from the very origin of the, term, uh, of the term sustainable development. The first definition of sustainable development uh, was provided by the Brundtland Commission report. Maybe you all know who Brundtland is. Uh, Gro Harlem Brundtland is a woman. Uh, she's a Norwegian uh, politician born in Oslo on the 20th of April 1939, uh, committed to the environmentalism. Now, sorry, I need to read this because it's a very long career. In 1981, she became prime minister of the Norwegian government, the first woman and the youngest person ever to uh, hold this position. Between 1981 and 1996, she led the government three times for almost 10 years in total. And in 1983, the United Nations Secretary General appointed her as a chairman of the World Commission on Environment and Development. In 1987, she drafted the Brundtland Report titled Our Common Future, containing a definition of sustainable development. From 1998 to 2003, she served as Director General of the World Health Organization. And in 2004, she was ranked fourth most influential European of the last 25 years by the British Financial Times. It was then a woman, Gro Harlem Brundtland, coined the term sustainable development. Giving it the following definition in 1987 during the United Nations General Assembly. Development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. A concept that includes three fundamental components, ecological, economic, and human. So sustainable development implies not only economic growth, but also social and environmental sustainability. A cross-cutting approach, a close link between human well-being and the health of social, of, sorry, of natural systems. Uh, reflected also by the United Nations 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. Some say that sustainability is feminine. Uh, since women are at the heart of it, women uh, give life, they take care of others. Um, they are often promoters of uh, policies, uh, cultures, uh, socioeconomic approaches that take into account the defense of life and environment. Um, women are more sensitive to global environmental issues, according to many researches, and they are also more uh, sensitive to the needs of a younger generation. They have a multi-dimensional vision of life, just because they are mothers. Um, some may argue that, um, or, or for example, if you, if you think of how many movements are actually led by women, uh, movement for the protection of environment, this is the case of Vandana Shiva. Everybody knows Vandana Shiva. She's a, a famous Indian scientist uh, with a, a degree in uh, nuclear physics, leader of the Green Revolution that inspired uh, the mobilization of more than 500,000 farmers against the biotechnological monoculture by multinationals. Uh, well, um, some... Uh, yeah. uh, can I interrupt you for yeah, a moment? Sure. Uh, uh, I would like to uh, talk about 
uh, another topic which is closely related to this. To this. Uh, we often forget how environmental defense has a lot to do with uh, criminal activities and the control of criminal activities. And I think you have to, a lot to say about that looking at your, uh, your career. Yes. Uh, well, um, some may argue that, uh, for example, being on the front lines against poaching is a, a man game, uh, too far from the fairer sex. But this couldn't be actually farther from the truth. If you think that at all levels, women are actually occupying crucial, critical roles in the fight against wildlife and environmental crimes. Uh, for example, in the Carabinieri, uh, women working in the environmental sector are more or less 20% of the entire specialist component, whereas uh, the percentage of Carabinieri women are around uh, 5% of the total personnel of the Corps. My personal experience as a police officer uh, fighting environmental crime uh, started when my eyes met the eyes of Mini, a 33-year-old chimpanzee. Uh, we were actually the same age when we met each other. Uh, she had never seen her own counterparts. Maybe she had a faint memory of her mother from whom she was uh, actually turned away when she was a few days uh, year old to be uh, raised by humans, to be used in a circus and exposed to the ridicule of people who still see in these uh, wonderful animals the reflection of a funny human image. Minnie was illegally detained and for this reason she was uh, seized by the Carabinieri and taken to a rescue center. Uh, it was not possible, unfortunately, to reintroduce the, her into the wild uh, due to her inability to adapt and survive in a wild uh, environment. And over there, far away from Africa, Minnie met for the first time her counterparts, uh, other chimpanzees that were seized in the most diverse situation by the Carabinieri. And over there, Minnie met Pepe, a male chimpanzee, that took her in, uh, facilitating her integration with the rest of the social group and becoming her best friend. Chimpanzees are social animals. They have an articulate language. They have an, extra an extraordinary range of behavior, vocalization, social interaction, uh, just like us. If you compare the human and chimpanzee uh, species, uh, they share more than 90% of their DNA. So how much life was denied to Mini? Mini it was just a witness, uh, a living witness of the disaster of the environmental crime. But how many animals are still uh, taken away from their habitat? How many forests, whole forests and landscape are destroyed due to the uh, man-made threats? Uh, of course, uh, women commitment in those areas of the world uh, with a priceless uh, natural heritage is uh, even more significant. Uh, Didi Wamukoya, for example, is the name of a Kenyan prosecutor. She joined uh, the Kenya Wildlife Service, uh, the government agency in charge of managing and protecting all wildlife and wild uh, lands in Kenya in 2007. And at that time, uh, the Kenya Wildlife Service didn't have a new unit, a dedicated unit to uh, handle with environmental cases. But uh, Wamukoya set up uh, the Wildlife Kenya Service Prosecution Unit in charge of uh, taking over prosecution uh, of environmental cases in courts uh, all over the national territory. While Wamukoya uh, has soundly established herself as a pioneer among conservationists, her success was hindered by not only the difficulty of balancing uh, personal and professional life, but also by the gender um, discrimination in a field uh, dominated by men. 
uh, actually, I, I, I want to echo uh, some words said by Wamukoya to address to all those women who want to join a police force uh, in charge of the environmental crime fight. Wamukoya said, as a, a woman, you should believe in your abilities and ride on your passion to conserve wildlife species, not only for ourselves, but for future generations. And this is also my warning and my hope. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.